wanting to do this tape comparison for a while. So what I've got here is I've got the multi-surface tape, but this says that it has sharp lines multi-surface. This is the original multi-surface tape. This is just plain masking tape, and this is drafting tape that I bought at some art supply. So what I want to do, I, I really pressed them down real well. Like I tried to make sure they were really on there. I didn't burnish them with anything, but I did just press them down like that. So what I want to do is see if I can paint on that now and get a sharp, clean line when I take it off. So in order to mimic an actual painting, I'm going to get my paper wet because that's one of the big tests, right? I'm really going to brush over it, get it wet. Then I'm just going to take some staining color. I'll just go into some perline maroon here with my big brush. And come across. Maybe add another color so it really gets some big brushing on it. Put a little blue in there. All right, so that is like thoroughly brushed. Everybody's getting brushed. Maybe a little more saturation. All right, so now I'm gonna hair dry it. Okay, so they're all dry. I thoroughly dried them with a, uh, I'm gonna start at this one because I'm hoping that one works. Gotta make it a little bit exciting. So this is drafting tape that I bought someplace, some art supply. That's not too bad, but I did get some seeping. This is masking tape. Again, I got a little seeping. This is the original multi-surface. Can't get it. I really stuck that down, didn't I? Well, that's interesting. And I don't see any damage to my paper anywhere either, which is important. Let me try this end. Oh, come on, that nail is broken. Wait a second. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's the original just multi-surface blue tape. That's pretty good. Although, you know what? I got a little tear right there. Yeah, let's look at our tape. Uh-oh. That pulled my paper off. So that's, that's not good. And then this is the clean line one. Maybe if I pull it slower. I don't see any paper on there. And hey, that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. That's that's pretty clean. And like I say, it did not damage my paper. I don't know if it was on there longer, if it would. But um, that's the winner. Multi-surface, and then it says uh, sharp lines, multi-surface. So that's cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So I'm working on this painting, and I wanted to put a line of mass masking tape along this edge so that when I put my wash in above, it won't come down on my tabletop. And I'd also like to use it to clean up some of my squares if I, you know, if I put tape around some of these I might want to lift something or it just will help me get a nice straight edge so I think this is going to be a good tool for me to use but remember if you put the tape down on an area that's masked when you pull the tape up you will pull your mask up and just be ready for that so I just wanted to do a little demonstration with the tape to see how it was going to work. So I thought I'd show you that I was going to throw my background in on this painting. I did pre-wet the paper just a little bit and then I'm just using my uh, perline maroon and my endanthrin blue and some Windsor blue. And I get it all on and then look at this. It's all dry and it was just about Perfect. So that was a great thing. So I hope you can use this and it comes in handy for you. Thanks for watching.